I was looking at universities that were quite a distance away. So I was thinking I want to get away from home. And I saw Oxford Brooks, or they had a university, another university in Oxford called Oxford Brooks. So I looked in, more into that. And the more I looked into it, it appealed to me the quite a student city. So obviously there was lots of things to do. And the course really, like, really appealed to me. Now I'm studying here, the course is really interesting, especially, well, the first year it was more focused on getting everyone up to the same same level, so it was quite A-level work and a little bit more, but now we're in second year. You can see where some of the maths that we've learned from the, from the first year is being applied into the second year and where the work in the second year can be applied into real-world problems, which I find quite interesting. The best bits about studying in Oxford Brooks, I think in my first year, when I came, they they allow you, I think you've got to do six compulsory modules, and they also allow you to do take any two modules from across the whole university. So I thought, I'm quite interested in philosophy. So I took a module in philosophy, a theory of knowledge. That was, that was, that was quite interesting. The number of societies that they've got on offer as well, especially sports-wise, I think. I joined the rowing, uh, rowing club in my first year and I think they're the best, Brooks is the best at rowing in the country. I joined that for two months and then this year I'm part of the athletics club and that's good to meet a lot of people and you get to travel quite a lot as well. I would advise people when applying to universities to definitely, definitely compare each university that you're wanting to come to down to accommodation uh, the course, what cities like. I think Oxford Brooks is one of the best in the country. I think for the the reputation that Oxford has got as an educational city, and also when a, when looking at modules in each course, I think Brooks does outline in detail like everything that they teach in each, in each module. We're in the process of setting up a mathematics society. Hopefully, with this society, we'll get funding from the student union and the IMA, and they will help us take more students to places. Like, I went to the conference in Glasgow, hopefully more of those things. I think they have them every half yearly, so hopefully we can take some students to the next conference, and then perhaps more events that are taking place. Uh, another good thing about Oxford Brooks Universities, especially the maths department, they offer external lectures. We went with one of our lecturers uh, to the University of Greenwich in London uh, to a talk on cryptography, which was hosted by a gentleman from GCHQ, and he explained in depth what mathematical concepts are applied in cryptography, and then that gave me an understanding of some of the things that I learnt in first year where that at first seemed quite random where they are applied in, in the real world I think that's really helpful and with the Math Society hopefully we're going to uh, set up more of these external lectures and hopefully attract more people. My plans for the future uh, recently I went to a conference in Glasgow the IMA and I think a lot of the, a lot of the presentations given by the other mathematicians who had graduated and were working or doing a PhD, most of them had absolutely no idea what they wanted to do and that's pretty much where I am. So going to that has made me a lot more relaxed knowing that it's okay not to know what I want to do. But a kind of rough idea is perhaps do a Masters in Mathematical Sciences.